A Bloodborne remaster may be coming soon. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Demo Creator. Demo Creator is a fast, simple, and fun program that allows you to make videos, demos, tutorials, and presentations. Unlike many other pieces of software, Demo Creator allows you to record, edit, and share your videos all in one application, simplifying the process. Not only that, but the included screen recorder comes with AI facial recognition, pan and zoom features, and motion effects to help you make your video stand out. And best of all, you can try it out completely free. So if you're interested in creating videos and want to jump into a fast, all-in-one software, that isn't confusing or filled with unnecessary bloat, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. So over the last couple of years, there have been just a ton of leaks about a potential Bloodborne remaster, PC port, and possibly even a sequel to Bloodborne, which of course I have been following these leaks very, very closely because Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time, and I feel like it's just a downright crime that it has been locked to 30 FPS on the PlayStation 4. Now, of course, you can play it on the PlayStation 5, but it's still going to be locked to that same 30 FPS and 1080p, and I feel like, at least for me personally, that these From Software games play much, much better at 60 frames per second and beyond. So I'd really like to see this game get a remaster so we can finally play this game at 4K and 60 FPS and even potentially beyond to get the best playing experience out of this beloved game. And I know a lot of people out there share this same sentiment with me and have been waiting for a long time to see some sort of remaster or 60 FPS port of this game. Well, I got some good news for you guys because it sounds like at least according to the uh, at least according to a new leak that it's actually very likely you will be seeing a Bloodborne remaster in the near future. But before we talk about that, let's first start off where it all began back in April of 2020 where we got our first potential leak of a Bloodborne remaster and according to this leak, which of course I will have all my sources linked in the description below, quote, Amazon accidentally leaked some Sony exclusives for PC. Days Gone, Persona 5 Royale, and Bloodborne. Other sources say also Uncharted Collection. Interesting because Naughty Dog was hiring PC programmers exactly some months before this leak. Shortly after, the news is rejected by Sony, saying that, quote, the listings are not accurate. We have made no announcements to bring these games to PC. One year later, Days Gone is officially confirmed for PC, and Persona games started to be announced and ported to PC, along with other Atlas IPs. And then after that, we got just a ton of various different little leaks that made their way online, and in fact, one of those people that leaked uh, that Bloodborne may be coming to the PC and PlayStation 5 was Red Gaming Tech, and I actually personally know this guy, and trust me guys, he definitely has some really good sources, and in fact, I covered it back then, and he still does believe that yes, it is going to be coming to the PC and PlayStation 5, but then after that, we actually got something. Now, this doesn't necessarily uh, directly state that Bloodborne is going to be getting remastered, but we did get a GeForce Now leak, or at least I believe it was a leak on GeForce Now, uh, that shared a bunch of various different, you know, PlayStation exclusives that would be coming to the PC, some of which uh, actually did include God of War 2018, as well as Uncharted. And of course, we did actually get those games on the PC, or at least we are going to be getting God of War on the PC, so I think this does actually lend further credence that yes, we will be seeing more PlayStation exclusives coming to the PC in the not too distant future. And this actually was all the way back uh, on 9-13-2021. So this is actually fairly recent. And then even more recently, this one actually directly ties to a Bloodborne potential remaster leak. And this is the one I definitely want to talk about in today's video is actually, according to a WCCF Tech article, quote, the development of a Bloodborne PC port is finished and Bluepoint Games is indeed working on a remaster of the original game and a sequel according to a reliable leaker. Speaking on the latest episode of the Xbox Era podcast, Special Nick revealed that multiple sources have confirmed to him that the PC port of the PlayStation 4 exclusive action role-playing game developed by From Software is finished. These sources also corroborated the rumors of Bluepoint Games working on a remaster of the original release and a sequel. So to me, this most recent leak is very interesting, and trust me, I definitely want this to be true, but you might be asking the question, well, is this actually true? I mean, how much can we actually trust this guy? Now, WCCF Tech does, you know, appear to believe that this guy is a very accurate leaker. He definitely seems to have gotten a few things right in the past, so, it, you know, I wouldn't necessarily just completely disregard what he has to say along with all the various other leaks that we have seen in the past, and in fact, if I was going to guess, you know, based on the percentage 
percentage of uh, how much I believe this to be true, I would say I, you know, probably around 80% sure that this is true. Now, the only reason as to why I'm a little bit hesitant to say that we are for sure going to be seeing everything that he said is he did actually mention an actual sequel to Bloodborne being apparently created by Bluepoint. Now, to me, although that is possible, I do question it a little bit because I would wonder, you know, why isn't From Software themselves working on the sequel to Bloodborne and why are they pushing it off to someone like Bluepoint Games? Although Bluepoint Games does have, you know, a lot of experience working with their games after they were able to work on stuff like Demon's Souls, I still feel like a sequel would be something that From Software themselves would be working on and they wouldn't be pushing it off onto another studio. However, of course, I could be wrong. Now, in terms of an actual remaster and PC port, I'm actually probably around 90% sure you will be seeing it in 2022 because not only are there just a ton of various different leaks and rumors suggesting that this could be the case, and I always say if there's smoke, there's probably also fire, but on top of that, I've been personally hearing a lot of rumblings about a potential Bloodborne uh, remaster coming to the PlayStation 5 and PC from a bunch of various different sources as well. So guys, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be seeing this. Now, is it 100% guaranteed? No, that's not the case. It could end up being that we got just completely trolled by tons and tons of people for, you know, over two years. Uh, but I do think that's pretty unlikely at this point. And considering that, you know, Sony does seem to be making a lot of steps to bring their older exclusives over to the PC, it would only make sense that they would remaster one of their most beloved exclusive IPs and bring it to not only the PlayStation 5, which would be a great reason to get more people to buy PlayStation 5s, but also to the PC as well for those people who just simply either can't find a PlayStation 5 or just won't be able or willing to purchase one either. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that a Bloodborne remaster is going to be coming in 2022, or do you think that we're all just getting completely trolled? Let me know your guys his thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed